Hi, it's Captain Dylan Hubbard here from Hubbard's Marina, talking to you today a little bit about how weather affects fishing. So many people say, how do I pick a good fishing day? What's the best time of year to go fishing? I want to catch a monster fish. What should I do? Look at the weather. The weather is a huge variable that controls and dictates how many fish we catch. Now, we guarantee an excellent client experience with superior guest service at Hubbard's Marina, but I always jokingly add, we don't control the weather and we can't make fish bite. But you can use this video and our Facebook and uh, website to help make sure that you catch the most amount of fishing possible next time you go fishing. Whether it's with us at Hubbard's Marina, on your own boat, whatever. We're here to help you catch a lot of fish. So the weather affects fishing in multiple ways. First, you have moon phases. The moon phases, a full moon, helps fishing at night. Night fishing on a full moon is awesome. The beginning of a full moon, the day fishing is typically really good as well. On the back side of a full moon, the day fishing is typically pretty good as well. During the peak of the full moon, daytime fishing, not so good. Also around the full moon, you have very strong tides, so you gotta mind the tides, especially if you're kayak fishing. A new moon means that it's dark all night, so the fish typically feed more heavily during the day. There's a lot more action. Again, just like the full moon, there's a lot more current. So that 12 hour fishing period during the day when there's light typically means some great daytime fishing. The full moon, it's light 24 hours so the fish can feed more actively throughout the day. That's why during the peak of a full moon, daytime fishing typically isn't that great. But it is a little hit and miss. These aren't sciences, folks. This is just a little bit of fishing experience and a little bit of anecdotal evidence. We also have cold fronts. Cold fronts are very predictable as far as what the fish do. As the cold front approaches, fishing is awesome. They get excited. They can feel that pressure starting to change. The lateral line down the side of the fish might as well be a barometer. That's how they sense pressure changes under the water or movement of the water. And it is also very, very sensitive to atmospheric pressure changes. A low pressure is a cold front. A cold front is a low pressure. So as that low pressure system approaches, the fish know it and they get it really excited. They feed really well up until that pressure starts to come into the area. Then the fishing kind of goes to nothing. As the weather and wind and waves pick up during the low pressure, then after the cold front passes, typically we have a strong wind and a wave that lasts a little bit, maybe another 24 to 48 hours, depending on the strength of the low. Then once the wind and waves die, it typically takes another 12, 48, or even 72 hours for everything to get back to normal. It to calm down, it to warm up, and for the water to get clear again. Once the water clears up, it lays down and it warms up, the fishing gets really good exponentially quickly because they haven't fed that whole time when the wind is blowing hard, the waves are crashing, the current's rushing, and the water gets really dirty. So a cold front, the best fishing is right before it or three to five days after it, once everything's kind of approached homeostasis again or gotten back to normal. So it's all about timing your trips in the late fall through the winter in Florida and into early spring around those cold fronts. Hurricanes are a low pressure system. As a hurricane approaches the area, if you find someone daring enough to take you fishing, the fishing's really good right in front of a hurricane. Also on the back side of a hurricane, again, once everything gets back to normal, the fishing is very good because the gulf gets stirred up and it moves things around and the fish get grouped up. Behind big low pressure systems or any type of big storm, the fish tend to congregate on larger structure. So bigger ledges, bigger rock part, bigger, Bigger rock piles, artificial reefs, artificial wrecks, that's where the fish go after a big storm and they tend to get congregated and they're ready to chew once everything gets back to normal. Also, we have high pressures. Typically in the spring and fall and through the summer, we'll see these high pressures move in. A high pressure gives you a predominantly east wind 
and that high pressure typically gives you a beautiful blue sky without any clouds, but a high pressure when that barometer gets up and gets stagnant, the fish tend to get lockjaw and they're not chewing. You'll see them on the bottom machine, there'll be fish everywhere, but it doesn't matter what you do, they're not gonna chew. And that's a little bit frustrating sometimes. The best fishing is on a falling barometer ahead of a low pressure system. Second best fishing is on a rising barometer ahead of a high pressure system. As long as the barometer is moving, fishing's decent. When a barometer gets real low and stays low or gets real high and stays high, that's not that good of fishing. That's probably the worst fishing. The barometer is somewhat in the middle and kind of stagnant, it's still okay. Not the best, but it's better than being really high and stagnant or really low and stagnant. So you have to look at the moon phase, you have to look at what the weather's doing, and you have to be careful of the wind and the waves. All that plays a part in whether you're gonna be successful offshore or not. And the benefit of booking with us at Hubbard's Marina is we'll do all that work for you. And we'll send you emails and we'll have the weather report on the counter to tell you whether or not the fishing's gonna be good, fishing's gonna be slow, or we don't know, the fishing's gonna be a lot like fishing, not catching. We try our best to be upfront and honest because again, we guarantee an excellent client experience with superior guest service, but we don't control the weather. So all I can do is be upfront and honest and try to communicate as best I can to you and your group and let you guys make that decision. But you're always welcome to look at the email because we'll always suggest to you when the best weather days are and when the best fishing days are. And if you're not getting emails and if there is no weather report on the counter, that's a good sign. That means there's nothing to worry about. So we look forward to fishing with you at Hubbard's Marina and you can feel confident fishing with us because we're gonna make sure we keep an eye on the weather for you and we communicate openly and honestly and we're upfront about the weather. Also, you can always cheat. If you're not fishing with us, you're fishing with somebody else, you're fishing on your own boat, you're fishing on a buddy's boat, you can always cheat. On our website, hubbardsmarina.com, go to the contact tab, fill out the sheet and send it away. It'll come to my email. I'll check the weather for you and I'll pick you a great day where you're gonna be the most successful offshore, or near shore, or inshore. And you can always message us through the Hubbard's Marina Facebook page and we'll do the same thing. Or if you know what you're doing, you know what you're looking for, go to hubbardsmarina.com Go to the info tab and go to the weather links page. The weather links page is where I get all my information. So you can use that to your advantage too. Or you can watch our daily videos where we talk about the weather and the fishing, what's going on and how the weather affects fishing. We do those videos daily on our Hubbard's Marina Facebook page, on our Hubbard's Marina YouTube page. And it's also at the top of our fishing tips page. The fishing tips page is right under the info tab. You'll see the fishing tips page and right at the top of that, you'll see our daily weather and fishing video. Remember, if you're too busy to go fishing, you're just too darn busy. We look forward to having you out with us at Hubbard's Marina.